Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Star News. I'm Dvorak, and this is going to be the next video on the Olympics as we check in on the men's hockey circuit. If you want to check out the rest of the videos on men's hockey circuit, check out the men's Olympic hockey playlist for the women's and women's Olympic hockey players. And please can you subscribe down below or up above on the easy switch to keep us growing to 200 by the end of the month. Really appreciate your love and support this far. But when it comes to um, Team Finland, it's no secret to why they're successful, similar to why um, Slovakia was such a good sleeper team. That should have been recognized more, but Finland has more of them. That's why they're a great team. They have guys that have played in <clears throat> uh, in North America and have experience playing in the NHL and um, have played in some of the best leagues, whether it's Sweden, whether it's Finland, ETC, ETC. And they are loaded um, with those guys that played in leagues that you would rank as the top four in the league from the NHL to Sweden to Finland to the KHL. And um, not in that order, but like... You know what I'm saying. So they're loaded. They have Lennon on their team. They got Gronland on their team. Uh, Sammy Vodnin's obviously great. Phil Pulis had a had a long career in the NHL. Um, so the, Leo Kamarov also had a long career in the NHL. So they have a team full of veterans that have had success over at the NHL level and then over at the AHL level as well. And then if they would, didn't have success over here in North America... They had success in the Swedish League or in the Finnish Elite League or in the KHL or whatever, in one of the other top five to seven leagues in the world. So this team is at was absolutely locked and loaded. They had those NHL veterans. Sammy Vodden is a guy that many people, including myself, are surprised didn't get signed by somebody because right-handed defensemen are always coveted um, at the NHL level this season at least yet. Um, in terms of just being even a depth guy, if not more. But uh, he goes over, has a very good Olympics. Uh, also, when it comes to their team, Pateri Lind Lindbaum, uh, he's been over here before. So, again, a lot of depth, great defense. They play a very good defensive structure. And uh, they play very good in net with Satiri. So that's going to get it done uh, when your team Finland, when you have Filpula, you got Gronlin on that first line. That's really bringing it, Marcus Gronlund. You got Maninen, who's really bringing it, Sakari Maninen, who also has been over here before. So the team is locked and loaded. They're going for gold. Uh, team Finland is the first time they're going for gold. They won the David versus Goliath matchup, but barely against Slovakia because Team Slovakia, led by the young stud of Euro Sovkoski, uh, had a very good tournament themselves, also because of Rebar and Net. They have very good solid other than against Finland in the preliminary round defensive play throughout the tournament that led to their offense and that's how the Finns have been doing it they've had good all-around play being able to cut down passing lanes that then leads to the attack up the uh, opposing up against the opposing team and that's how they've been getting it done that's what they did against Slovakia they were able to jam them just enough to be able to win the game and obviously get that one goal and that's what I would expect uh their key to success to be against ROC, who's a team that's been very disciplined and played very disciplined, structured hockey the entire tournament themselves, which is obviously what got them in the gold medal game, and I'll be doing a video on them later. But this has been a video on Team Finland, and led by their goaltending, led by the veterans they have in the Gronlins, the Filpulas of the world, especially the Sammy Vodnins of the world, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They're in the gold medal game. You filled a very good roster. Their management team did a great job at building their roster, especially when they found out they were not able to take the NHL guys. They still did a great job picking up all these veterans, as I said, and hats off have to go to them, and they deserve to be where they're at now, and they're in the gold medal game going for gold against ROC. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of the Olympics, and also enjoy the rest of the hockey of whatever league you enjoy watching day in and day out. Peace out, everybody.